So I think it's important that when we look forward to what the future of industry will be, we, we understand that a lot of what we take for granted today will completely disappear from the world of work. The fourth industrial revolution is about artificial intelligence, it's about automation, it's about the Internet of Things and how the automation will be enabled and can even be controlled remotely. All of that is a brave new world and there is an opportunity for Gibraltar and La Linea uh, to work together in developing how we can potentially attract business from around the world to this part of the world um, and we've therefore wanted to be there at the beginning to put our little grain of sand to hopefully make people realize that just as we've done in the software world of um, online gaming, um, etc., we are ready to also play our part in this potentially very exciting fourth industrial revolution. WiseKey are a company that have expertise in this area. They are uh, founded by a gentleman who is from the linear, who now has established himself in Switzerland, in Zurich in particular. And so there are interesting synergies there, and I look forward to seeing whether we can grow that cooperation in a way that is beneficial for Gibraltar. Well, it all sounds so techy that this might sound like an old-fashioned question, but are we talking bricks and mortar? In, in the context of this sort of world, you don't need to be talking bricks and mortar. I mean, um, an innovation hub in the context of this type of work could be virtual. But we hope that actually we will be attracting people to real activity, both in Gibraltar and in the Campo de Gibraltar, using Gibraltar's advantages as an entrepreneurial hub, given, of course, the fiscal advantages of Gibraltar, um, and La Linea because of the expertise there as well. Ironically, there's a young man in La Linea um, who has designed a particular uh, uh, type of a small satellite called a Pico satellite, which could be one of the first projects which are dealt with in the context of uh, this particular opportunity for innovation. And Chief Minister, job creation? We could be talking jobs. We could be talking many jobs. We could be talking no jobs. This is just to start the process of exploring the possibility of establishing this sort of expertise in Gibraltar and, and, and Gibraltar and La Linea and in the whole of this area. This is not something that Gibraltar is looking at exclusively or La Linea are looking at exclusively. This is work that is being done in innovation hubs around the world. In all of these places, there is a, a buzz about the fourth industrial revolution and what that means means and how to leverage for each different jurisdiction how that that future um, translates into jobs and other benefits for people in those regions. We're talking end of 2021, perhaps 20, 2022. MOUs have been signed. Where exactly are we? So we've signed an MOU which uh, simply binds us in to explore the possibility of doing a framework agreement now, which would be uh, taking a further step. Once we signed a framework, we would be looking at the establishment of a more bricks and mortar a real presence and the investment potentially in a virtual presence, if that were something that were viable. These are the first very early steps, uh, we are really just talking about sitting down to talk about being able to do this in a more fulsome way, but absolutely worth exploring because this is the sort of future that we have to be very alive to and we need to have our foot in the door if we don't want this to run away without us. Chief Minister, I can ask you about something totally different and news that's broken today is that Spain is going to ask the EU to make a specific mention of Frontex in the treaty. Good news ahead of negotiations. Well, I very warmly and positively welcome the statement by Juan González Vadra, the Spanish Secretary of State for Europe. Um, I think uh, that he has understood in the way that he's reflected the position of Spain um, what former Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab and I were saying about uh, the mandate, at least in relation to the part that relates to the fluidity of uh, personal immigration. Uh, which is the issue in which uh, Frontex would be engaged, as was envisaged under the New Year's Eve agreement. There is a lot more that uh, I think is frankly wrong with the mandate and will not lead to any treaty that looks anything like uh, the mandate. But I think this is a step in the right direction before the mandate goes firm uh, that Spain should have been so forthright in setting out its own defence of the New Year's Eve agreement, just as Foreign Secretary Rab and I have done for the United Kingdom and Gibraltar, respectively, when Foreign Secretary Rab was in post.